Welcome to Strong Tower Virtual Coaching. This is your WOD Brief for Saturday, April 4th. Today's workout will start with a 400 meter run. As you're running today, think about falling forward and catching yourself by bringing your heel right underneath your butt cheek. If you guys are not able to run for distance today, you can go ahead and set up some cones or markers for yourself and perform 20 10 meter, that's about 50 feet of a shuttle run. You don't have to touch the ground today. As soon as you cross that line, that's one. If you guys don't have ability to run at all today, we can go ahead and sub out our running with 15 tug jumps. On a tug jumps, think about jumping on the box as you bring your knees into your chest. From there, we're gonna move into 20 alternating dumbbell snatches. As you're pulling your dumbbell off the ground today, think about keeping your back nice and flat. And then let's think about zipping up our jacket with the elbow high and outside as we transitioning to that overhead position. You guys can also turn your dumbbell the opposite way. And from here, keep your arm nice and long as you're ripping the dumbbell from the ground and then punching it overhead. You guys can also use your kettlebell for this movement as well. The kettlebell snatch will start a little bit more like a kettlebell swing. You're going to go ahead and hinge your hips back. Keep the kettlebell as close to your body as possible and then turn it over aggressively at the top with your arm extended. Remember at the top, the kettlebell will flip, so it might feel a little bit uncomfortable on your hand. Just make sure you're going a little bit slow with the turnover so you're not slamming the kettlebell against your wrist every time. Odd object uh, ground to overhead is the next option. On this one today, keep your arms long, object nice and close to your body as you're transitioning from ground to overhead position. And make sure you're keeping your arms locked out at the top. Punch to the ceiling. All right. From there, we're going to go ahead and move into our single arm overhead squats. On the overhead squats today, you guys don't have to alternate every single time. You can alternate sides as you choose. This movement might be a little bit more challenging, requires a lot of thoracic mobility, right? That upper back mobility. So if that's not happening today, we have some scaling option for you coming up in a second. If you guys not using your dumbbell, go ahead and grab a kettlebell. You can use it just the same. Just remember keeping that arm nice and punched up to the ceiling as you're descending into the bottom of the squat. And as you're coming out the bottom, it's going to be very important to punch up on the kettlebell or a dumbbell to get out of there. Think about stand and punch. All right, if the overhead is not happening today, you can go ahead and bring the dumbbell in the front rack position. Think about keeping your elbow nice and high as you're descending into the bottom of that squat. Once again, you guys can switch uh, in as many reps as you choose. On your kettlebell front squats, your elbow is gonna be sitting a little bit lower on your body. Think about keeping the handle of your kettlebell nice and close to your collarbone in order to make that front rack position a little bit more comfortable. And then if you guys have your odd object handy, you're gonna go ahead and hold it in the front rack position, nice and close to your body as you're descending in the bottom of your squat. All right, you guys, that's it for today. Can hear about your workout. Go get it, friends.